the perfect Linux for you isn't about being the flashiest, but about matching how you work. Today, we'll walk through two dependable choices. Linux Mint, the polished, user-friendly option, and Debian 13, Trixie, the rock-solid conservative choice. So you can pick the distro that actually fits your needs. Choosing a Linux distro starts with asking two simple questions. Do you want a system that just works out of the box? Or do you want a base that you can tune and trust for the long haul? Linux Mint wraps a friendly desktop and convenience tools around a stable base, while Debian 13 focuses on minimal surprises and long-term reliability. In this video, I'll compare them across stability, desktop experience, software, hardware support, and who each distro is best suited for. Debian 13 at a glance. Debian 13, codenamed Trixie, is the latest stable release from the Debian project and continues the distribution's tradition of stability, broad architecture support, and conservative change. Its release notes highlight important system-level improvements and compatibility decisions that matter to sysadmins and power users. Things like updated core libraries, refined architecture support, and careful changes to boot and package behavior. Debian's focus is predictable upgrades and a strong upstream-aligned toolchain which is why many servers, development environments, and privacy-conscious desktops still choose Debian first. Linux Mint at a glance. Linux Mint is a desktop-first distribution built to be comfortable, familiar, and ready for everyday use. Mint's stable releases, the 22.x series and related point releases, provide long-term support and a curated set of applications and tools so users don't have to hunt for codecs, multimedia apps, or desktop settings after installation. The project also offers LMDE, Linux Mint Debian Edition, which shows Mint's philosophy can sit on Debian directly, but the mainstream Mint releases are typically based on Ubuntu for a balance of current drivers and long-term support, desktop experience, and out-of-the-box polish. If you want the most polished desktop immediately, Mint's Cinnamon Edition aims to deliver a Windows-like layout with a straightforward settings panel, integrated applets, and visual polish that many users find welcoming. Cinnamon continues to evolve with smoother animations and UI refinements that make desktop tweaks approachable without digging into configuration files. Debian, on the other hand, usually ships GNOME by default, or you can choose other desktops, so you get a more vanilla upstream experience that's very stable, but often less tuned for desktop newcomers. If your priority is a drop-in, comfortable desktop, Mint has the advantage. If you prioritize upstream purity and minimal modification, Debian is the choice. Software, Package Management, and Updates Both distros use APT and the DEB packaging ecosystem, but their release cadence differs. Debian prioritizes stability and therefore tends to include well-tested, older packages in stable releases, which is ideal for servers and systems where change should be controlled. Mint layers convenience tools and curated software choices on top of an Ubuntu or an LMDE's case Debian base, and many users rely on Mint to provide easier access to things like multimedia codecs, driver managers, and Flatpak support for newer user apps. If you want the newest desktop apps without manual backports, Mint's approach is generally easier. If you want a controlled, predictable base for production systems, Debian's conservative updates are preferable. Hardware support and drivers. Because Mint often tracks Ubuntu kernels and driver packaging more closely, it commonly offers better plug-and-play support for modern laptops and GPUs out of the box. Debian's excellent hardware support covers a very wide range of devices. But for bleeding-edge hardware, you may need to enable non-free repositories or manually install newer kernels or firmware. In short, Mint often wins on first boot convenience for newer consumer hardware. Debian gives you the components you can trust long-term, but occasionally needs extra steps for the newest devices. Performance and resource usage. Both distributions can be lightweight if you choose a lighter desktop like XFCA, Mate, or a minimal GNOME configuration. Mint Cinnamon is optimized for responsiveness on modern machines and feels snappy on mid-range hardware, while Debian's default stacks tend to be lean and can be tailored for older machines with minimal services enabled. For resource-type systems, the choice of desktop environment matters more than the distro name. Debian gives a slightly lighter starting point by default. But Mint's optimizations make Cinnamon surprisingly efficient for a full-featured desktop. Who should choose Linux Mint? Choose Linux Mint if you want a friendly, polished desktop that works well immediately, prefer a gentle learning curve, and like a curated set of tools that simplify everyday tasks. Mint is excellent for users moving from Windows or for creators who want to avoid time spent on post-install setup. Its Ubuntu base, or LMDE alternative, gives access to widely available drivers and PPAs when needed. Who should choose Debian 13? 
Choose Debian 13 if you value absolute stability, long maintenance windows, and software that changes only after extensive testing. Debian is ideal for servers, development machines where reproducibility matters, or for users who prefer a minimal, upstream leap system they can customize from the ground up. If you like knowing exactly what's in your base system and controlling every change, Debian is the safer pick. Closing. If you're still unsure, try both. Boot the live images, run them on a spare USB stick, and see which desktop feels right. Mint will get you productive faster. Debian will give you a conservative foundation you can rely on for years. Link to the official download and release notes in the description so viewers can try them safely and check hardware compatibility. If you want, I can make a follow-up showing how to set up Mint for development or how to harden Debian for desktop use. Tell me which one you want next. If this helped, like and subscribe for more distro deep dives and drop a comment which distro are you using right now and why.